Every night, women start to shed their skin from the tips of their toes, like taking off a stocking and pulling out the white skin. And with a final pull behind her back and her whole body is plucked away, the twin brothers hadn't seen their mother for a year. They wanted to give their mother a warm hug. They were frouncing on the spot. Hate that you have to see me like this. The woman said she was still recovering from a minor operation. She couldn't take her headgear off, seeing that the two men were suspicious. The woman offered to bring a model toy and happily accepted a hand-drawn picture from her brother. The brother then dragged him to the barn to play. He is caught just as he climbs out of the dog hole. Angry, the woman warned the brother not to come near the place and pushes him to the ground. Her cold attitude is more like that of a stepmother. From now on you stay inside. By nightfall, the woman's attitude changes again. She watches a film with them and tells them a story before bedtime. When the brothers ask to hear their mother sing a familiar lullaby, the woman refused to do so. You're too old for songs. Just as the brother wets the bed, he walks out of the room to hear the woman secretly talking on the phone downstairs. She doesn't want to pretend anymore. She doesn't want to stay in this house any longer. The brother curled back under the covers and thought about it all night. He told his brother what he thought. The woman was not his mother, but an imposter. To find out where the real mother was, the two men used the walkie-talkie to build a simple bug. They were about to put it under the bed when the woman returns. The brother runs away. The brother hesitates. He had to hide behind the curtain of the door, not daring to make a sound. The woman dances in front of the mirror. The brother steps back in fear. He overheard his painting being thrown in the bin. How could a mother's do this to her child's gift? The more he thought about it, the more frightened he felt. He hid in the darkness of the sink and watched the woman take off her hood and put on a new one. Then she picked up the painting on the floor and tore it into pieces. There was no way a woman like that could be his mother. The brother put the evidence in front of his brother. After discussing the matter, the two men decided to expose the woman for what she really was. They snapped a picture of this strange woman and zoomed in on her pupils. Then they took out a photo of their mother when she was young and compared. One has blue eyes and the other has green eyes. This means that the woman is a fake mother. The weird thing is, soon after the brothers told their father about this, the woman immediately unlocked the door and burst in. As soon as the brother hit his phone, the woman lifted the covers and forcibly took the phone away. The brothers panicked. They followed and begged for mercy. The woman went to the kitchen and threw the phone in the rubbish disposal. When she took it out, it was a pile of broken glass. The woman told them never to set foot outside the house again. The brother waits for his brother to fall asleep and then sneaks into the bathroom. The woman appears to be asleep with a mask on. This is the perfect opportunity to reveal the truth. Suddenly, the brother is grabbed by the woman. What are you doing? Answer me. The woman is incredibly strong. He can't get free. In his desperation, he threw a candle at the woman. Then he ran back to the bedroom. The bookcase was no match for the woman's iron bar. The woman rushed in and pinned him down in the bathtub. The brother's tears mingled with the icy water. With such a merciless punishment, he could only say the words against his will. You are my mother. When the woman left satisfied, the two brothers fled the house for the night. They went into the neighbor's house. The police were alerted to the break-in by the house arrest system. They arrived at the scene and found the child. After hearing the brother's statement, they said they would look into the matter. Little did they know that a police car would arrive at the brother's home. Little did they know that the woman had taken off her mask and was standing at the front door waiting for them. The woman stonewalled the police and they didn't suspect anything. Since the police were unreliable, they had to find out the truth themselves. The woman woke up to find her hands and feet tied with tape. She couldn't get free no matter how hard she tried. The woman is furious to learn that her sons have done this. When the woman calmed down, her brother took out the photos and told the truth. Moms are green, her eyes are blue, but the photo is green. She had killed the real mother and disguised herself as her mother. On hearing this, the woman was helpless. I wear colored contacts for work there in my purse downstairs. The brothers went downstairs to look for their contacts. The brother said there was nothing in his purse. Feeling fooled, the brother fills a bucket with ice and throws a bucket full of ice water at the woman. To his surprise, 
the woman still insisted that she was their mother. But when the brother asked why she had torn up the painting, the woman couldn't speak and even cried in pain. Seeing that the brother had softened his heart, the brother said, Can't stay here any longer. We need to leave. The brother was very hesitant, but obeyed him. He taped the woman's mouth shut. At that moment, there was a noise from downstairs and the police came back to visit. The woman shouting from upstairs had no effect at all. The brother fakes that his mother is out on an errand and gets rid of the police. However, as the two brothers walked down the road with their luggage and prepared to call a taxi, the brother remembered he didn't have his toothbrush with him and went back to the room. He then found the contacts in his bag and it was his brother who had lied. The two brothers got into a big fight and even fought on the stairs. The younger brother kicked his brother out and locked himself in his room. The more he thought about it, the more he thought something was wrong with his brother. So he cut the tape and let the woman go. The woman hugged his brother and cried out, then opened the door to the room. Strangely, there was no one else in the room. The brother had disappeared. The woman led her brother to the barn, where she pointed out the blood stains and gunshot holes in the wall and told him to stop lying to himself. It turns out that a year earlier, the mischievous brother had shot his brother with a shotgun and killed him. As a twin, the younger brother was reluctant to face the cruel reality. He imagined his brother in his mind's eye, and while the grieving woman asked her husband to take her brother away and live in a different environment, she underwent plastic surgery to get a new look and start accepting her brother again. The truth is in front of her, but the brother still doesn't want to believe it. The moment he pushes the woman away, the tragedy is repeated. This time, his mother is dead for real. The moment the barn is destroyed by fire, his brother refuses to face reality. He once again conjures up images of his brother and his mother and repeats the words that comfort him. You didn't do anything wrong, baby. In fact, the director has already left clues in various small details. For example, the woman has only one gift for the twins. She didn't talk to her brother the whole time. For example, during the movie, the woman only put her arm around her brother because she was afraid of the memories. She hesitated to touch her brother. Another example is that after calling the police, the police only questioned the brother and completely ignored him. These are all hints to the audience that the brother doesn't exist. And the opening scene of the woman tearing herself apart is all from the brother's dream. The director has deliberately disguised a suspense story as a horror film. This is the end of the story. If you like this video, click on the viewer. Thanks. See you next time.